Hi there! We've finished another week on our chronological Bible reading. Today we're going to discuss any insights we have from day 111 to day 117. For those who would like to be up to date on our chronological Bible reading on a daily basis, you may visit my other social media accounts, my Facebook at Truth Insight 2020, my Instagram Truth That Insight, and my Twitter at Truth Insight underscore. On these social media accounts, you will see what books, what chapters, and what verses to read for the day. Now let's get to our discussion. So we don't have 111 and 112. So 113. On this day, we read Second uh, Samuel chapter 6 verses 12 to 23. First Chronicles chapters 15 to 16. Our one item here, First Chronicles chapter 16 verses 31 to 33. It says. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Tell all the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the fields and their crops burst out with joy. Let the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. Uh, this is actually David, right? King David. So, Somehow, David knew about the Judgment Day. So, as you can see here, he is coming to judge the earth, right? So, somehow, David knew, right? This is the difference between David and Saul, yeah? Between King David and King Saul. King David could communicate with God more than King Saul could. Next day, day 114. On this day, we read 2 Samuel chapter 7 and chapter 8 verses 1 to 14. First Chronicles chapter 17 and chapter 18 verses 1 to 13. And Psalms chapter 60. Our first item. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 13 to 14 it says he is the one who will build the house a temple for my name and I will secure his royal throne forever I will be his father and he will be my son if he sins I will correct and discipline him with the rod like any father would do and First Chronicles chapter 17 verses 12 to 14 it says he is the one who will build a house a temple for me and I will secure his throne forever I will be his father and he will be my son I will never take my favor from him as I took it from the one who ruled before you I will confirm him as king over my house and my kingdom for all time, and his throne will be secure forever. Now, as you can see, without reading uh, the verses in Second Samuel, right? Without reading that, um, the verses in First Chronicles, so this one, refers to Jesus, right? As you can see here, um, because of this, right? I will be his father and he will be my son. I will never take my favor from him, right? And I will confirm him as king over my house for all time. His throne will be secure forever, right? Yes. But that uh, first time, well, may refer to Solomon, right? Why? 
let's just scroll back um, but it may also refer to Jesus except for the same part so because of this yeah, the difference is because of this if he sins I will correct and discipline him with the rod right so because of this um, yeah it's uh, pretty closer to Solomon right but you know so sometimes it's, uh, it has a double meaning right okay moving on to the next item here Psalms chapter 60 verses 11 to 12 it says oh please help us against our enemies for all human help is useless with God's help we will do mighty things for he will trample down our foes for us today most people prefer to please humans than to please God right it's true at the end of our lives it will be realized that it will be too late for some people right because we don't see any you know, miracles like uh, being seen during the time of Moses you know all those miracles in the, in the Old Testament and also the miracles performed by Jesus because um, we don't see that nowadays so we live by faith not by sight so some they say they believe in God but actually they prefer right here right let me emphasize most people prefer to please humans than to please God you know pleasing God it's like if you say you believe in God and you know that God wants us to read the Bible then to please God of course you will read the Bible that's just one thing and there are so many things okay moving on to the next day one one six yes on this day we read first chronicles chapter 20 verse 1 second samuel chapters 11 and chapter 12 verses 1 to 25 the book of psalms chapter 51 2nd Samuel chapter 5 verses 14 to 16 1st Chronicles chapter 14 verses 3 to 7 and 1st Chronicles chapter 3 verse 5 to 9 so we have only one item on this day and that's 2nd Samuel chapter 12 verses 13 to 14 it says then David confessed to Nathan I have sinned against the Lord Nathan replied yes but the Lord has forgiven you and you won't die for this sin nevertheless because you have shown utter contempt for the word of the Lord by doing this your child will die so as you we can see here right so David was forgiven right but his child will die meaning sin will result to punishment even if you're forgiven so do not be deceived choose to obey god okay so 116 and 119 already so up to 117 for today so we're done that's all for today see you again next time may god bless us all